Hello fellas, so today in this video you're going to learn how to maintain your laptop. So what you see here is a very old, a very reliable and a very loyal 2008 model MacBook. So these are the last models that came with external battery as you can see right here you can replace the battery very easily with these models anyways the problem at hand is that these laptops um, they're very sturdy by the way the problem at hand is that um, this laptop has recently started to become pretty hot on the bottom side while I'm working so I thought that I should clean this up from inside out and uh, also share that with you guys as a video why not and before we proceed any further, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it so and please hit that bell icon so that you can receive the notifications of the latest videos that are upcoming. So guys, let's start. So guys, what we need is not too much compared to the newer model laptops, what we need. So we don't need a pentelope screwdriver, what we normally need for the newer laptops. In this case, you only have the cross screws over here so we need just a cross screwdriver and maybe a brush to clean it uh, from inside maybe rubbing alcohol as well but we'll get onto that when we open the thing up so uh, the mat here is uh, is a soft mat so you don't you won't get any scratches on the back side so i'll open this thing up like this and i'll start to open the screws by the way this is a very reliable please keep the screws on the side and remember where which screw goes yeah I was saying that these are very reliable laptops although they are almost 13 years old but they still run pretty good There's a magnet here, it starts to stick. Okay. Yeah, I was saying that I upgraded this laptop some years back when the SSDs things came out. So that's why you see an SSD here. And it made the laptop pretty fast, I would say. And it does a pretty decent job for, you know, a lot of daily stuff like meetings, MS Word, net surfing and so. Okay, the battery is out, put it on the side. And since I've removed all the screws, this thing should easily come out. Okay, so this is the DVD drive and this is the hard drive, the SSD that I was talking about. I need to open this thing up and on the side. Just guys, remember which screw comes out from where and the best way is there. Get track of where you took it out from. Sometimes the screw gets lost into some crevice, and it's really handy if you have a nice tweezer take it out okay so this thing should come out easily be careful so now you have this thing that's connecting the SSD to your laptop of course so we are quite in a good position so guys if I bring the camera close you'll be able to see that this thing 
is dirty but not that dirty you see that lines because the camera frame rate is faster than the rate at which the tube lights are working okay so what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to use this nice little brush if you see some pieces of dust or something they're stuck in the speaker and the fan at these places you see so what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to lightly use the brush because remember this is an old laptop and the solders are not very strong they're like 13 14 years old And you don't want to do it too harshly that any small components come off because these are really difficult to solder you need specialized skill for that and there will be a separate video on that coming soon how to solder those small components as well but for now of course you don't want to get into trouble what you haven't planned for So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this compressed air. By the way, my laptop is of course off, you already saw that. Seems like it's frozen. Okay, what I'll do is that I need to open this thing up because the conduit inside of this fan needs to be really clean because that's what's going to conduct the heat out. and try not to touch any other component because there could be some com capacitors and if you short circuit capacitors even though there is no battery although it's quite safe but it's not a good idea I can tell you that so if I change the angle you can see that if I take out this nice little fan you can see that there is dirt inside you should really get that out So guys this thing is really important because these are very very small if I try to focus it if you see this thing here there are small channels that conduct or take the or sh shower the air from the fan to the processor so you really need to be careful you shouldn't do it too harshly that you bend these very thin fins already I think the compressed air has done a good job 
removing much of the stuff i'm not removing this this contact from here because as i said that these this is an old laptop and i don't want that i destroy anything so again i'm going to use the compressed air okay it's also important that you do not shake the bottle of the compressed air it's also written on it's also written on the the bottle but just to let you know That's a very futuristic sound, Zoop. but that's the sound of the fans, of course. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put back the screws of this heatsink fan. Remember that there was one larger screw that goes right here. and then two small ones don't tighten the first one all the way first tighten the second one again not all the way lose a little bit and then the third one then you go back to the first one the second one please again this is an old laptop do not tighten it too much so I'm going to just to put I'm going to put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on my brush not too much a little bit only and start to clean it up bring all the dirt to one side you very gentle guys this really really small components if you lose one of them your laptop is not going to work and then like I said I will have another upcoming video how to solder those very very tiny piece of equipment I mean components electronic components I did this side go to the dirt all from middle to the right and then this side I will take it to the left and okay so if you look at this there are some oops these portions where there, are, there is some dirt
you can either do with a brush or you could use a cloth or a tissue paper with some alcohol on it so that's what I'm gonna do You see, dirt is coming out. Just be very gentle with your laptop, guys. This is your daily driver, and you don't want to make it upset, then you will get upset. Okay guys, to me it looks pretty nice. Just to make sure that there are no remnant dirt pieces. I just took the speaker out because if you can see the speaker has some dirt particles inside. Not too bad but uh, the sound would be better if there is no obstruction to the movement of the speaker. So I would now put this back. This thing goes here and the other one goes here. And then you take, of course, your screwdriver, tighten it down. Again, don't go too much. This is an old laptop, you don't want to break things. Just be very gentle with the speaker. Just clean the inside out. That is compressed air guys okay the laptop actually looks pretty decent okay guys the laptop looks pretty nice and clean look at that nice new shine just like brand new this is a 13 year old laptop guys Next, I'll start to assemble back the hard disk. Just fix this thing back. First put this side in and then this side just holds up like this and then you have this thing that will go and basically hold your hard disk okay your hard disk is back what you want to do next is uh, I already cleaned this side uh, you want to see whether all of your connections are nice and good they're not dirty but this looks pretty brand new to me or like brand new I should say so I'm going to attach the, la the battery back into the laptop okay. 
Oops. Let's do that. This thing goes like this. And aha. Okay, so the battery is back. Now I'm going to check. I'm going to clean the this side of the inner side of the back lid. Put this aside for a while. Again, I'm using rubble stopping alcohol to clean the inside. the dirt best is that you start from one side go to the other side you can start from my side it's a material So this part is also made of metal, it's also a heat sink, so you really need to get that thing cleaned as well. Again, I would like to go a step further, try to clean every small bit of my laptop. And then use a brush to get any dirt out. I know for some people this would be an overkill but hey you want to keep your laptop looking brand new. You really want people to say that you're taking good care of your stuff guys. Okay, so I'll just do it. Okay, this looks pretty nice. It's, if you look at this, everything is nice. Uh, I do think that there is still a need to give a second hand cleaning to these edges because I don't like stuff st sticking at the ends. Looks good. Okay, let's bring the laptop back. Here are my screws, guys. Here. Okay. The back side looks almost fixed back.
second last screw the last one and there you go okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this back just like this close it and then I, there is some scuffs over here as well i'm going to use rubber alcohol again to clean this thing up Looks pretty clean. Now from that side as well. Do some rubbing alcohol. Okay guys, this looks very nice and decent. Okay. A good practice is that you hold the laptop vertical like this and then apply your compressed air so that any stuff that is stuck inside the, the keys that comes out. These are old MacBooks, guys. These are the ones with really nice um, LCDs. Although the resolution is not that good as the newer ones, but you don't get those uh, uh, delamination of the anti-glare or anti-glare uh, anti uh, you know, coatings, I wanted to say. So let's try to turn on the laptop and see how it goes. Huh? Nice. We have something going on. Okay, we are already there. Let me put in the password. there you go beautiful laptop guys this is a 2008 model laptop and it still works like an excellent laptop so guys if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of the latest updates on what's coming new thanks a lot for watching bye